Cicero is a remarkably interesting man. Shakespeare virtually gives him no lines in Julius Caesar. And I think that him and his relationship with his slave, Tiro, I think that they were the perfect way to try and bring that world alive. I read this extraordinary series of books about Cicero. The whole story of Julius Caesar, the story of the rise and fall of Cicero, and the obvious uh, person to do the adaptation was Mike Poulton. Robert's books are so exciting. The one thing that doesn't change is human nature, human greed. They're plays about power. It feels a little bit like a box set and you're watching kind of West Wing or the House of Cards but just set in ancient Rome that rips along at the pace of a page turner. If you're only coming to part one or part two, they feel actually wonderfully self-contained. All the themes that are in my other books are on stage in this adaptation. And it's beautifully acted, brilliantly acted, and it's a real Rolls-Royce production. <laughs>